Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I just want to go over Sweet Effects, whether you're using a reshade with Sweet Effects, or an EMB with Sweet Effects, or just Sweet Effects on its own, and encountering an issue with, say, jagged edges or flickering kind of grainy looks to your games and what causes that and normally that type of issue is caused by luma sharp and if you're installing a sweet effects and you happen to notice that suddenly you kind of have a grainy look to your game or that you're kind of getting a flickering effect or as I said the edges look really jagged then generally this is the setting that you want to look at and I'll just show you a couple of examples here here we have Fallout 3 and as you can see on the ground it looks like it's speckled and what happens when you're actually moving is you get a shimmer effect and the the actual picture looks kind of like it has a film grain so you're getting kind of a pixelization issue and as I said that's a problem with the luma sharpen setting as well with games like say Mass Effect here now if you notice I can see kind of these squared edges and such and that's because I'm running it in 4k and that's a common problem with some of the 4k when you're running off the HDMI as the game wasn't really designed to scale up to 4k so you're kind of getting those alias edges but then I'll just flip to the next picture here and now if you notice those edges are a lot more prominent and if you look through here you can see a lot of those squared edges and lines and they kind of stand out a little bit more and that also is a luma sharpen issue now what luma sharpen does is it sh not only sharpens your picture but it sharpens the edges so if you have scaled up to say a 4k monitor and you're noticing a few edges like here with no luma sharpen where your standard picture kind of shows a bit of edges but you don't really notice them too much well luma sharpen will bring out those edges and make them really prominent in your actual game as well if you if you go too high as i said you'll get this kind of grainy look or maybe even a flickering look where it looks like you have pieces of glass in the ground and that's also caused by the luma sharpen and the way that you can fix that of course is to turn off your luma sharpen or you can try to adjust your luma sharpen settings now because i used fallout 3 i'll just open that game up here and i'll just pull up the folder and go to my sweet effects now in this case i'm using reshade with sweet effects so it has the sweet effects file here in the sweet effects folder so what you want to do is open that up and just look and see if the luma sharpen is turned on and if that's turned on then that's generally what's causing that issue now as i said you can just set it to zero and then save the file and close it off and that will take care of the issue but you will lose some sharpness in the game so if you wanted to actually work with the problem and try and remedy the issue or maybe just kind of get rid of the issue but not lose a lot of that sharpness then you'll want to work with it by going down to the actual luma sharpen settings here and you want to look for that luma sharpen line and let me just open this up now as you can see here the sharpening strength is set to its maximum and the sharpening clamp is set at the maximum amount also and by using these settings that's causing that kind of shimmer or the gritty look to the game so what you want to do is start off by lowering these settings so I would just go with the default sharpening clamp to start with 
and I would lower this right down. Now you can go right down to the 10, although I'd go down to about 25. And at this point, just save the file and start the game and see if that kind of shimmer effect or the grainy effect or that kind of squared edge look has disappeared. And if that takes care of the problem and you're happy with that solution, then you can leave it at that setting, although the game itself won't be quite as sharp as it was previously. If you decide that you want to add a bit more sharpening and kind of try and get it up to the level of detail without encountering that issue, then what I would suggest is go back to the LumaSharpen setting here and maybe go up by fives or tens. And that way you can kind of monitor the additional sharpness and at which point if the problem returns then you'll be able to kind of back it down and you'll know a good setting to use. So say at this setting I went back into the game and now the kind of shimmer effect or that gritty effect or those squared edges are now gone. But I'm really not happy with the sharpening level anymore. It's not quite as sharp as it was even though the problem is gone. So then come back here and like I said either add 5 to it so raise it up to 30 and then go back in and check it or you can raise it by tens so then in that case raise it up to 35 and again just each time you do that save the file leave the file in the folder open and just start your game and then once you get to a level that you're happy with and you're not experiencing the issue that you were previously then I would save it and leave it at that setting. Now another good setting for the sharpening clamp is to actually set it at 55. So you can make that adjustment also and kind of adjust the sharpening strength with the clamp at the 55 because I find the 35 and the 55 are generally good numbers to work with when you're working with the LumaSharpen. Now, of course, if you don't really feel like going through this process, like I said, you can turn it off altogether just by setting the line to zero up in the listing here where you just change that to a zero and then you just save the file and that will take care of the problem, of course. But as I said, it will take away from the sharpening in the game as without the luma sharpen you will lose some of your detailing and stuff now generally as far as the squared edges and such you'll notice that more with like the game introductions or the cinematics in your games and if you kind of notice the little blocks in the cinematics and stuff then that's the the setting you'll want to look for as far as the shimmer or that grainy effect when you're actually in game that's what it causes in game and again you'll want to go to that luma sharpen and work with that in order to take care of that issue so I'm just gonna close off this file here now at the moment I'm not gonna be running the game so I'm not gonna really be adjusting the settings and I really only set that setting there at the maximum setting so you could see what to look for as far as the setting. No, I do have a file with it corrected but one thing also is if you're using SMAA or FXAA LumaSharpen will enhance those anti-alias edges so then you again want to work with the smaller numbers and smaller increments so that it doesn't take away from the SMAA or the FXAA smoothing because it will cause the edging to become jagged again and that's just because part of the sharpening is it sharpens the edges and unfortunately it is a problem with that type of sharpening method. Alright so those are just a few things to look at if you're suffering with those type of issues and how to correct it. Now if there are any questions please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise thanks a lot for watching. Take care 
and I'll talk to you again.